So there's a really cool new indie game out called Tunic. Some of you may have seen it. It's been getting some really good reviews and sort of like a Zelda style game. It's got a really nice art style and it's uh, very much like Zelda, but it also has some sort of Dark Souls elements in it. But one of the things that I think is most cool about the game is how it handles its in-game instruction manual or instruction booklet as they call it. And so with most games what you do is you just sort of go through like a some sort of an in-game tutorial or maybe if the developers are really generous they'll give you like a PDF that you can pull up or maybe you'll go to like a wiki or something like that. But in Tunic the way that this game works is as you play this game and you sort of wander around this strange world, you collect these digital pages. And as you pick these up, they are these uh, almost like scans of an instruction manual. And these scans look like a, uh, it's almost like a scan of like an old 90s instruction manual for like a, an NES or SNES game or even a scan from a video game magazine. But these scans contain uh, invaluable information on how to play the game. They'll give you some little tips here and there. And just like the rest of this game, it's really sort of steeped in mystery because you'll notice here in these video clips that you're seeing, although the instruction manual tells you some useful things, there's also an awful lot of text that's just sort of gibberish. It's like these symbols that you can't really decipher, like an alien language. And so it, it's just really neat. You go around this world, you pick up these digital pages, you're sort of piecing together this manual, and you'll have some useful information here and there, but there's also parts of the manual that you can't read and you can't decipher. So you have to sort of carefully piece things together and just try and understand it as best as you can. And something else that's it's really interesting about this is that you don't collect this manual from start to finish, so it's not like you go collect pages like 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, and 6, and then you get 7, 8, and 9. You don't collect them in order like that. But the first few pages that you get might be like somewhere near the middle of the manual, and then maybe the next uh, set of pages you get will be like somewhere like way near the beginning. So you're picking things up out of order but by the time you've beaten the game, you'll have basically the whole manual assembled. And whenever you collect pages, they will almost always be related to the area that you're in. So, like if you're going into a, a brand new area that you haven't been to before, you might come across this set of pages, and they might contain a uh, like an in-game map for that area that you've just reached. And you'll see some information about the enemies there, and uh, yet another really cool thing about this sort of in-game instruction booklet or instruction manual is that the uh, maps are dynamic. What I mean by that is, although it looks like a scan out of a manual or a magazine, as you move around on these maps, your location is actually represented by a little bitty head on the map. So it looks like a scan, but it really is tracking your location. And that's just a, a cool little detail. But just thought I'd make a quick video about this. It's, I think it's one of the coolest aspects of this game. Uh, I've always loved video game manuals and even the old video game magazines, and so this is sort of right up my alley. And I just I absolutely uh, just adore this aesthetic that they went with, this old 90s sort of scan look that they've got. And the way that you collect these pages and the way that the uh, the pages that you're picking up are related to the areas that you're currently in, it, it's really just a, a brilliant way to teach you this game and I don't know that I've ever seen a tutorial system done this way. It's just very cool and very unique and just one of many great things about this game. Uh, I haven't beaten this game yet. I'm, I think I'm about four hours in. I've really enjoyed it so far but yeah if you if you like The Legend of Zelda and maybe with a dash of Dark Souls you've definitely got to check this game out but Man, this instruction booklet thing, the way they've handled it, to me it's just one of the coolest things I've seen in quite a while in, in, in an indie game. Anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Chubbs, signing out.